Just raw and nasty out there. WSLS 10's Bethany Teague is monitoring the conditions tonight in Salem. And uh, Bethany, I know there's a lot of water out there. Uh, Mill Lane, in fact, is still closed. Yes, it is still closed at this time. I'm going to step aside here for a second so you can see in behind me water continues to pour over parts of the road and the bridge. VDOT workers told us that that started happening around uh, 9 o'clock this morning. They say they're not surprised that that happened given the amount of rain we've had recently and also how hard it came down this morning. Crews estimated it would take about eight hours once the rain stopped for the water to clear up off of the bridge. Some folks we spoke to in other parts of the area say water levels are up near their homes as high as they've seen it in years, and they're just hoping it won't rise anymore. The river's up more than I've seen it up in a long, long time. Uh, I remember the flood of 85, which, you know, makes this look like nothing but a drizzle. But uh, hopefully it won't go up any higher than this and flood anyone out of their homes. A flood warning for the Roanoke River in Roanoke has been extended through the early Tuesday morning hours. We'll have more coming up about the roads closed throughout our area. That's tonight at 6. Live in Salem, Bethany Teague, WSLS 10.